This is a review for foam sheets that are adhesive on the back and they're glittery. There's 10 sheets and they come in these sizes and I want to show you what, can, what you can do with them with just a pair of scissors. You don't need glue, you don't need a mask, you can do this with kids, it's a lot of fun. What I did, I'm going to push this over here so you can see what I'm doing, is I went and found a Peanuts Snoopy coloring book and I took a page out of it because it's really, really cute. Then I took a blank piece of paper and I laid it down over top, okay? And then I traced over it. And these are the pieces that I took off the page. You can see where I traced. I just took a pen and I just wrote over the top of them and I traced over it. And I love, I love Snoopy. He's a sweetheart. Can you see the different pieces that I got out of here? And this comes out of his hand. This comes up here. Can you see what I did? I just simply traced them. And because these are going to be laid down on a piece of the uh, glittery uh, foam board, this is the foam board. I chose red. And you can see that it fits right here. So when you're cutting it out, make sure that you turn the paper the other way. Because if you cut it out like that, it's going to wind this way. So turn around. So now I'm going to show you the pieces that I cut out of it. Isn't this neat? And this is all adhesive. I just have to tear this off and it sticks on anything I want to. Okay, and I already did the top here and put those two pieces together. And then, because I wanted Snoopy in certain places, let me just scooch this over here. See on the paper where it, it you can draw? I draw, I drew on it, but I wanted to show you what you draw with. This is a Sharpie and it's a fine point. I needed one of those. And um, believe it or not, this is a dry erase marker. It works great. I grabbed the wrong one and found out it worked just fine. So what I did was I marked where Snoopy stands and then they had this to make it look like it was a globe up here. So I just simply drew it in. So I'm gonna move this up here because we're referring to it. I've already cut the pieces out. It's very, very simple and easy to cut. This is wonderful, wonderful to work with. And here's the tree and I put a few ornaments on it. I'm gonna show you how to do some. I didn't wanna do all because the video would be too long. So here we go, there's the tree. See, the tree is in the, in the picture right here. And then here's Snoopy. Isn't he cute? I just love him. And with the felt pens, I colored in his ear, I colored in his nose, but I cut out a foam glitter collar for him. And then you put him down and you can see where I drew the, the prints where he's supposed to go. So Snoopy's gonna go right here. And you can see he needs the little ornament. See the little ornament I made for him? It goes in his hand right here, okay? Now it looks really simple, but I want to show you truly how easy it is. Here is a piece. Here is a piece of the foam. And whatever shape I want to cut out, I just take a pen and I write on it. And this one, say I wanted to do um, a gift or a present for to go under the tree. So I'm going to draw it. Bring it up here where you can see what I drew. And you can cut it with a pair of scissors, which makes a shape one. Or I have a pair of these which actually makes a zigzag pattern. And I at first I didn't know was it gonna work on this. Look, it works beautifully on this foam. Here we go, there's another one. Super simple, I don't have to line anything up. Look at that. Turn it over and if I wanna put down a, you know, a gift thing, I would put yellow here with a little bit of, this is my leftover piece, I don't waste anything. I would put a little bit of yellow on here and I would make a present with a, a top on it. And also, yes, with scissors, it cuts just that well too. Look, beautiful. So let's put the tree on. There we go. I've already got the ornament stuck on. I want to tell you something really fun about this. Is if you get it in the wrong place, don't panic, because it's glitter. You can pull it off and reposition it. It's easy. So look, no messy glue. Here we go. There we go. You just take the backing off. It's already got adhesive on it. And we're just gonna put it down right there. Line it up with the edge. And it's on there. I mean, it's that easy. Now let's do Snoopy. Isn't <laughs> he just the cutest little thing ever? Oh my gosh, I love this glitter, glitter board. It's just, there we go. Glitter foam is what I'm supposed to be calling, glitter foam board. And look how easy that just peels off the back. Just peels off like this. And you don't have to be this great artist. You just get it out of a coloring book. And you can see where I put the marks where his feet are supposed to go. So then put down here. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's 
so cute. And he needs his little, here's his little ornament that he's gonna put on the tree. Peel it off the back. Can you see me peel it off? And I just go, boop. Look, that was so simple, quick and easy to do. And all I had to do was go get a, a page out and trace over it. I'm not a great artist. And just make it this way. And it's all done with this wonderful glitter foam board. Isn't that great? And look, I wanted to show you. There's not that much mess left. I'm very careful when I cut them out. This is the paper. That costs nothing. And look, I have all these little bits left that I can save and put them anywhere I want. I save everything. I am very impressed. I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. I really, really love this glitter stock. It works really well. Isn't he cute? That is just so adorable. I'm going to make some more. He's really fun. And look at all the colors that come with it. 5 out of 5. Gotta love it.